In this video, we are making a game using only hack block. Yep, only hack blocks. Now, here's the challenge. What kind of game can we even make with these blocks? And spoiler alert, we are working with some pretty heavy restrictions. No motion blocks, no paint blocks, no clones, and no green flag click, which basically means 95% of the usual game making tools are off the table. So I decided to make the best scratch game ever. You know what I'm talking about. So this project has a lot of hack blocks and we can use only these blocks to make our game. We can't use any of the blocks in our block palette. So first of all, let's choose the sprite from our wonderful sprite library. So let me search for a walking sprite. I never use this personally. Let's go with Giga. Why not? Giga walking. And now the main problem is how do we move Giga? Is there a change X block? Anything? We got a point in direction. None. Okay, that's cool. Do we have any block that we can use to move? We got a go to random. That should work. Let me just show. Yep, that works. This also works, but not what we need. We need to somehow move it. Okay, there we go. We found a move block and someone added the color input thing for the move block. I don't know. Does it like work? No, it doesn't. Wow, that's that's so useless. I don't know who actually made it. So we got another move block and they used the piano tiles. <laughs> so okay, that's that's pretty sick. Wow, they actually made it possible. So a thing here is that each key on this has a value. So for example, this is 64 and this is something like 38. So in theory, if this block returns a number, our move block should work. So let's test it. Let me zoom in. Let me say like move 10. Do we have a 10? 10. There we go. So now if we click this in theory, it should work. So let's test it out. And wow, it actually does work. So our Giga is finally moving. So we could even adjust it. Let me say something like 36. Yep, that works. Wow, that's such a fun and cool way. So now we got our Giga to walk. And now the problem is how do we actually even start the game? We can't use the green green flag click. Do we have any hat block? We got the red hat block, useless. And yeah, we got a lot. So this block is really, really useful. So the default makey makey has some like inbuilt custom actions, but here you can just input the thing you want. And for example, let's say when we press H and I in order, our giga should move let's test it out and yeah it works wow this is so so cool let me test something else like giga why not so a thing is that you have to leave space between each of the letters let me test it yeah it works wow this is such a useful block we gotta when this sprite touches and they replace the drop down with the sensor drop down so we can choose the edge the mouse pointer or any other sprite again this is like super useful oh we got the key enter press so normally you can't select the enter key from this drop down let's test it whether it works so okay it works so that's really really cool so i think i'll go with the enter key since it's much easier so now we have a way to start our game and we know how to move our giga. Now let's detect keyboard inputs. Do we have a key press block? Yes, we do, but it's for the enter key as well. So we need like two keys to move to the left and right. And since we are already using the enter key to start our game, we can't use that. So you can do the like the boring way by selecting the drop down, but I don't want to do that. We got a lot of drop downs. Wow, they actually removed every drop down we got the translate drop down the magic bit the makey makey and all those stupid lego extension i never used and we got uh up down left so we could in theory make a left but we need to also i think at the arrow part he left pressed pause it doesn't detect left do we have a join block we do have a join block and this is also another piano tile what's with piano tiles that's crazy um do we have another I mean we could use this so this is not necessarily a hack block but you can use it by combining both the key press with a join and what this would do is now you can just press something like shift plus two and yes it would detect it as an add really really cool but I think we can use it onto another theory as well we can just use this left I think this would return you left and if you keep a space and then type arrow it should in theory detect my left arrow so let me test 
Yep, I'm currently pressing it and it says true. Awesome. I'm not pressing it right now. False. All right, there we go. Now we got keyboard inputs. So it should work for the other arrows as well. Let me test it as well. There we go. It works. So now we also have a way to detect keyboard inputs. Now we need a if block and I don't think we got an if block but a useless if block. What else do we have? Oh, we got a while block. So this is actually a block that was removed from scratch. There was an original while block. So when we click our right arrow, it should move. Let me just press this. Yep, that works. So now we need some kind of way to run this forever when we click the enter key. And I think I found something. Where was it? Ah, there we go. Repeat, Repeat infinity. infinity. Why not? I don't think this would work would it repeat infinity let's just click enter reposition giga for the moment of truth does it work yes it does wow i did not expect that to work that's so so cool so now we can move our giga but only to the right we can't use it to move it to the left because the move only works on the direction we are pointing at so we need some kind of way to change our direction so i think i found a block for that so there is a point in direction none so we could use our join block and plug it in point in direction we could set it to something like 90 do we have a 90 yes we do awesome 86 95 90 there we go let me set this to left to right duplicate the whole thing change this to left arrow and point in direction 90 move 10 step but instead point in direction and i'm adding here a negative sign so it would point in direction negative 90 and now let's test it does it work Yes, it does. There we go. That's so cool. Like if you show these blocks and say it would actually work. Wow, that's awesome. So the next thing are the apples. We need apples to fall from a giga to collect. So let's hop into our wonderful sprite library again. What do we have? What do we have? We got an orange, we got a muffin, we got... This abomination. Oh, okay. Let's go with the banana. It's not apple catcher, it's banana catcher. Okay, that sounded cursed. So now I think we can do the like the same thing. Win Cree Enterprise, repeat infinity and get rid of all of this. And we need the move block added like here. Don't get rid of that. And we need to move 10 steps would do. We need to move it not from left to right, but from top to bottom. So how do we do that? And again, that's using our good old direction block. So let me just duplicate point in direction. Let's say 180. Is there a 180? No, we only got like 130. So, okay, I can't use this block. So I think we need to change this direction from here. And if we change it to 180, 180 now in theory should work. Let's grab our banana. Yep, there we go. Now our banana is falling from top to bottom. And then we could go to the costume editor, select and rotate. And there we go. Now we got bananas falling awesome so now since we got our bananas to move and now we need to somehow make it random do we have a go to there we go go to random duplicate and yeah now this would go to our random position so now this script yes works but we don't want that we need our bananas fall from a fixed point and for that we need to have a block do we have a set y or a change y do we have i don't think we have oh no there's a y position of ground okay we don't want that no okay wow <laughs> looks like we don't so that's really really bad so yeah i found another project called 3.0 hacked blocks and yep we got a set y and change y block and they have removed the input but it technically counts as a hack block so we could just import it to our backpack going back to our code we could just open our backpack import it and we could set our y to something like 150 but i think we don't have 150 yep 132 i don't think 132 would be enough what do we have okay we got another block instead of inputting all these values you could just broadcast a message why not and join new message 
one of one with this verb yep it says one and we need to drag the whole thing here so the join would now return 150 and when we set our y to 150 moment of truth would it work yes it does work so that's really really cool i could even set it to something like 180 now there we go awesome so yeah this block work and this set y block was a lifesaver so now we got our bananas falling and our giga can work so now we need to have some kind of system to actually detect whether the banana is touching the edge oh this in theory should work pretty easily i could duplicate the whole thing and say go to random stop this click the enter key and there we go it actually works sometimes so why doesn't that work? So I found the problem. So the problem here is that we are actually setting our Y to 180, also still touching the edge. And if it came again somewhere like here, it constantly is touching the edge. So this block would automatically run every time we touch the edge and that's not what we want. So that's a pretty easy fix. We could just paint a sprite and add a flow and now we can change this script to run only when we touch our new sprite let me name it as ground there we go awesome it just works flawlessly this block should have been on normal scratch so now i think we can do the exact same thing but instead of ground we can say giga and when it touches giga there we go it just automatically randomly spawns a game so what do we have for a scope we can't create variables and there we go we also got a counter variable and when the banana touches giga we can increment counter and when the game is started we can get rid of the counter by clearing it and now we need to somehow say the counter so for that i think we can actually duplicate the whole thing and repeat infinity we can use a say block do we have a hack say block we got a say block with the color picker does it work does it say the hex color code no it doesn't unfortunately and oh boy i can't get rid of this it's it's following me i am not even pressing it it just keeps on following me i can't even let it go okay let me save the project please save okay save yep i think we broke it so that's a refresh so now unfortunately we are left with only a default hello block without the actual color thing it just vanished but hey it's still a hacked block why not and repeat infinity we could just say counter and now if we run this there we go our code works so now we need to make our game polish just duplicate the bananas to add a little bit more challenge by adding two bananas yep that's much better and we could make it more visually appealing and now finally we just need some kind of way to code our lives so do we have a variable we can't use counter we don't have a way to actually decrement the counter so yeah we would have to rely on variables <laughs> it's another piano this is purely piano and we also have a way to actually store text input does it work let me just show it yeah it does work when key enter press set i to 5 and when our banana touches the ground we need to have some kind of way to actually reduce our counter so i think we need to use one of these minus so this is basically three ways to get infinity so i think the only exception for this challenge would be this minus block it's basically like a minus block you can technically argue for the say block too but hey there was a color picker in that it just broke the only thing here is that we are using a normal minus block and technically we did not grab it from the block palette so i think that's valid just for now just for now and for the variable i think there was a variable so there was this variable called new line and tab so i don't know what these do so if you know what this block actually do make sure to comment it down below so now i could change this to i set i to what is this okay it vanished again we could set i to i minus one and yep there we go now we got a way to actually reduce our lives what is this block oh awesome i i think we broke it again so let me just save it and reload again so would our project still work 
Okay, it works. Oh my god. <laughs> so relieved. Okay, it's still there. And oh, we also got this block. So this is actually the magic big block. It actually returns the binary of the image. That's really, really cool. So technically, if I just lit only the first square, it should return the first one as one and all the others as zero. That would be actually pretty useful for something like a memory game. Really cool. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? What is this even used for? We can wait for negative 45 seconds. A weight block without anything, a weight block but piano, of course we need to have a piano, and a weight block but with text. So we found an if block and there we go, we found a greater than, can we like drag anything here? Yes we can. So let me just add this and I could do if I, how do we type in zero? Is there any other way to type zero? Oh, we can use the magic bit thing. And we could just get rid of everything. It will return 000. zero, zero. Would this work? So repeat infinity should come inside the repeat infinity. And while i is greater than zero, now we should work. Three, two, one, zero. And there we go. It does not work. And I could do like the same thing for every other thing as well. Three, two, one, zero and there we go the whole project stops awesome so we got even our lives to work so one final thing that i would like to add our walking sprite so for that just repeat infinity we could lay say something like do we have a next costume i think there is a previous costume yep switch costume not to our next costume but the previous costume these blocks as well get rid of these two and only switch to our previous costume when we click on our arrows. There we go. So Giga's moving a lot faster. So we need to have some kind of delay. Now we could go with the piano. Why not? Join 0.0, .0 and let me say something like 5 here. And set it to our left arrow as well. And now there we go. Now we got like a much smoother walking animation. And we are absolutely getting destroyed here. So you can also add music just from your hack block. So in our backup project, I think there was a play sound block. There we go. Play sound until done. When key enter press, repeat infinity. Play sound until done. We can't actually select the sound we want, so we need to type. So we need to have some kind of way to type our sound. So I think we can use one of these drop downs. So I'll drag the X. Why not? Go for sound, check out a sound. Okay, there we go. So I think we can rename this to X. When we press our enter key, it should in theory work. There we go. It works. Okay, that's awesome. So for that, I could do the same thing. Duplicate the play sound block. What am I even doing? So it should work. Yep play a sound when we touch giga walking i could play a sound y duplicate and play a sound would actually put it at the top play a sound is z and set this to z so now <laughs> we added sounds too so let's test our game so one small thing is that we need to replace the play sound with start sound we need to drag this to our backpack Start sound Y. So we are finally done and we made a whole game and the best game of all, the Apple Catcher game, only using hacked blocks, which is really, really cool. And like you saw, there are pretty useful and handy hacked blocks out there, like the previous costume, a wire block, those detection hack blocks, really, really handy. And yeah, you can use any of these hack blocks in your Scratch project as well. And you can even share them on the website, no problem. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up for everything in this video and you are watching this for the video. Make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing for more awesome content. See you in the next one.